<laughs> you got a big award just to talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, the PAT award, you know, it's big. Uh, Coach gave it out uh, a lot. And um, it's special, you know, because it shows that beyond football, you know, the young man that I am, uh, it's like an all-around award, you know, uh, from, from class, you know, nutrition to, to the football field and off the football field. So, so getting that award was very special because, you know, that lets me know, you know, the work that I put in this over the summer, you know, it paid off. Guess you had an interception, Dad. Could you walk us through that play? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we was we was in uh, Dom uh, Dom alignment. That's when I go from free safety and uh, play Dom. Um, I usually uh, blitz, but you know it was it was like a three by one, and uh, um, our cornerback he tipped the ball up, so it was a good coverage by him, and, uh, and I, I was just there to make the play happen. Which corner? Uh, Buster Brown. Yeah, he. He, like I said, man, he's he's aggressive, man. He he's been he's been he's been showing that every the whole camp that that he's gonna be there every time he gets the job done. So you guys got two turnovers today? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so with that, uh, our goal is to get uh three turnovers. Um, you know, and that's how we that's how the whole belt thing go. You know, with the three turnovers. Uh, um, so I, I guess we would say we didn't win the belt today. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say that the offense is doing a better job at protecting the ball because usually it's like uh, before before we go into halftime, we'll have maybe about two turnovers and need one more after halftime. So with that being said, going after halftime, we'll have zero turnovers and then we'll probably get it toward the end. So I would say they're doing a good job at securing the ball. Y'all a little young back there in the secondary, but you feel like there's a lot more talent maybe, you know, in terms of what y'all brought in with the freshmen to, to go with what y'all had here. Yes, sir. I feel uh, I feel like you know it's, it's a lot of talent back there, you know, and basic and mainly just like you know us being in the classroom and, and, and listening to what Coop, uh, what, what he's teaching us, you know, every day he teaches us something new, and like we soak it all in, and it is not and it's like not like he have to go back and reteach us, you know, or, or, or say this or say that, you know, we kind of we get it down packed the same day, and we go out there and put it on the field. Joe, talk about the competition between the secondary and the wide receivers and how that's making both sides of the ball. Uh, yeah, I, I was just saying that today. I was like, man, what, what the offense did different today? Uh, and it was it was just like the competition we go through every day at practice. You know, we we had a high intensity practice. You know, we don't slack off each other. You know, is is we we full effort every day, and, and that make us better. You know, we we work at it every day. Like when we do one on ones, we we treat that in a competitive way. You know, like even though we're brothers, at the end of the day, we still we still hate. That to, to let them catch a ball, even though it's getting them better, but just coming from a defensive standpoint, we we don't we really don't allow no passes. It seems like those freshmen wide receivers are pretty ready to play. Is that how you see it? Oh uh, yes, sir. I see. It. I, like I say, every day they show me something different. You know, um, the physica the physicality is there. Um, you know, they got long arms between Trey Trail and Burks and Trey Knox. You know, the size is there. Um, to me, those guys are going to explode because, you know, they came in ready. They didn't come in, had to get physical, or come in, had to learn the playbook. You know, it's all there. Chad said yesterday that you put, you put together one of the best ball camps he's seen. So what, what's led to it? Uh, you know, like I said, year two, you know, things pretty much slow, have slowed down for me. Uh, as far as, like, my first year, it was more, like, speed-wise. And, you know, I, I was always physical. Um, like, when they put me in the Razorback drill, the, you know, the champion drill, I was always physical. Just knowing, you know, what, what the quarterback is thinking or, or just hiding that I'm going to the post or just showing like, just showing I've, I have grown, you know, into the player that I wanted to be and I, I still have more room to go. Uh, this camp is going very well for me because like I said, the speed has changed. You had 100 plus former Razorbacks out there today watching you guys. What was that like? And did they have any messages for you afterwards? Uh, after, you know, I felt the energy, um, you know, uh, that something special has happened, you know, uh, especially when, the uh, the Razorback that played here went to applaud and then like you know getting hyped like that that kind of turned me up because knowing that they know something special here is coming it, it just make you it, the feeling is great. Uh, progress from the first to the scrimmage. Uh, the progress, you know, just the speed of it. Uh, it was you know it, it was less turnovers. Uh, the offense did a good job of that. Um, no deep balls really was completed. Um, and, and and like. The run game uh, have improved. Uh, you know, Raheem got to break, break, break the ball up field a lot more. So the O line is doing their job. You know, the O line get better every day by taking on it from the defense. Yeah, 
Sí. 